Hello everyone. Hi Pisces. This is your read. We're going to look at the current situation for you. The cards are going to let you know um, what's best uh, or what's in your best interest at the moment. We're going to start with a planet. What could that be Pisces? What is the astrological energies, the main one? I'm going to pull Saturn. It feels a little stern. I mean, in your case, um, sometimes, obviously, every planet has more positive than and as well as negative uh, or more negative uh, influences but this one feels a little harsh or harder you might be feeling quite serious um, you feel obligated or you have a lot of obligations at least I'm drawing out of the Zen Tarot. Hopefully just one card. I want to see <laughs> only uprights in this deck. <laughs> Control. Oh my gosh. Such a Saturnian energy. Wow. That is like, it's almost like the same card. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was saying stern, but really it's an energy of control. So maybe your obligations are controlling you in the sense that you have responsibilities, things that uh, you need to comply with. You don't uh, have any leeway. Um, there's not much room for anything else. Um, there might be other forms of control being uh, exerted on you at the moment through people, relationships, situations, events, money, whatever. But you're sensing that quite uh, strongly. Let's go into the tarot. Let's see what's really going on. Why is that showing up here for you? Saturn could be an amazing teacher, right? Like, Kind of teacher that and i literally mean like a person a teacher like in a <laughs> a classroom even if it's a virtual classroom or someone that teaches you through other experiences or through experience i should say it doesn't have to be a field of study or a particular subject or class or um but in this case, uh, it's coming out as someone who's not uh, considerate. If that person has any ascendant on you, meaning um, they're in a position of authority over you, they're not lenient, uh, so that's more difficult. Keep drawing. I don't want to pull. You're going to have to be patient. I would really like these cards to come out because, uh, because of the oracle and the planets. Well, the oracle. The previous cards, I should say.
I would prefer the card that almost came out. Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. I feel you know this person or the control comes from someone or something from the past. Yet, uh, it doesn't have to be someone that resurfaces necessarily. And it doesn't even have to be a person. It could be something that happened in your childhood. But it comes from the past, right? So it's a, it's a it might be related to your family. It might be related to someone that you were, that you hold or held dear to your heart, at least in the past. It could involve a soulmate. Um, it could involve even a child, a young child. I'm going to draw more because I want to reserve what I'm thinking. I'm not too sure if I want to say. It feels like, okay, I, I will say this. Um, maybe control was exerted through maybe money. But on the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, it's not like full on big money, right? It's not like... Um, the Ten of Pentacles or even the Ace or something like that. There's like the idea that you have to wait for your money. So I'm not too sure it could be like money withheld, uh, not being shared. Anyway, control through money. So I'm not exactly, it could be through different means or take on uh, different, I guess, avenues for you, right? This might have happened, but it will be different for every one of you. This created a lot of disappointments, but mostly a lot of sadness. Um, and I don't think it was necessarily to you, Pisces, although you could have felt sad, but let's say it involved the child. It's mostly the child that would have been affected. I'm sorry for the message. It's a little difficult. I mean, because, you know, who wants to know that uh, it impacts uh, children? Ten of Pentacles came out in reverse with the Two of Pentacles upright juggling money constantly because there's not enough money the money is you have to wait for it so while you wait for payment whatever whether it's alimony whatever pay you know whatever it is um you have to juggle and there's a huge lack of money but it's also money within the family again through the ten of pentacles this is a family related issue mainly but it could be it could be within um no there's a child involved i don't think it's through work unless you work with children unless you're a teacher and then you teach children that could also be the case because i did speak of a teacher it's there's something i mean it could be 
one of these things. It could be none of these things. I'm not too sure. The one thing I'm sure of is that the control is being um, done through money. I'm going to keep pulling. What I don't like is the idea that the, the money would be withheld, like purposely, right? That's the one strong, and I, the card just turned as I said that. Ten of Swords. What is this ending? Something, something ended and the money is still not being paid. It's still withheld. Is that your, your situation? You know, Saturn is a representative of time, so there's definitely a, a waiting period. I'm going to draw one clarifier on the Ten of Swords. I want to understand what the ending was. <laughs> That's like way too many. I'm going to take them. <clears throat> I'm not going to shy away. I mean, they turned. And I think we need more uh, to explain the situation, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. The sun card. Okay, I can't make this up. This is really, it speaks of a child. It's so clear. The stars in reverse. The ten of wands in reverse. You have three tens on the table. The fool in reverse. And the four of pentacles upright. The money is being withheld. It's being like someone has had the money and just like keeps it like on purpose, like really like nasty. <laughs> this is horrible. I'm so sorry, Pisces. Like it's really like so obvious in this reading. <laughs> I mean, I'm like appalled frustrated for you, you know, like, <laughs> like, it's crazy how clear this is. Listen, it's like you have the sun in reverse, uh, sorry, the sun and the fool in reverse. I mean, the fool is also a young uh, energy. This is really concerning a child. These three cards are pointing to family. As maybe there's more than one children. But it specifically impacts the child or the children. It's the money's being withheld. Quote unquote because of the child. There's something around that. There's been a, there's some family feud going on. There's, uh, there's been a harsh ending. There's also a lack of, I mean, in this case, look, this star card is like three muses, like three, um, yeah, muses or fairies or dancers or, I mean, it, it's a, and in this deck it's called the stars it's plural but i mean when i see this card i think of the three of cups i mean for some reason it's because of the three characters on the card so there's a lack of you know already the star is like a lack of uh hope 
and you can add here like there's a there's something very how can I say this and I'm trying to kind of I want to soften the blow a little bit because it's already harsh um, like it's taking away from the joy of being united and being happy dancing you know and just just because of the imagery really i mean i can come back to what the star really is but i mean this you sense this um you know there's there's a lack of rejoicing and you know it's funny because i pointed out that there was three cards for me that kind that we're pointing to a child, a child or children. And I'm not necessarily saying that there's three children involved, but the number three comes up again, right? So there's something about, uh, just for me, the energies of coming together, collaborating, if you think of the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, right? Let's not speak of the other two uh, threes, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just this energy of the more the merrier and of a family. Like, a family unit is at least, you know, two parents and and at least one child, you know what I mean? So that's what I mean about bringing in the three. And it's, this is not a love relationship. This is not a, a, tr a love triangle at all. This is not what we're looking at. This is different. Look, I didn't even notice. On the sun card, there's like, Two children embracing each of this three people. Anyways, I mean, and there's <laughs> on the two of pentacles, there's three little devils. This is kind of strange. I mean, I love to play with numbers with the cards and stuff, but I mean, these threes are coming up as not as the number indicated by the card itself, right? It's coming from the imagery, so it's different this time because it's it's being reinforced in a different way. It's a visual. So for me, it's important. I don't know if you deem it important, but hopefully it resonates for you because for me, it matters here in the sense that I, f I sense that it it's, it tells us something about I want to say like the the connections anyways there's um I'm gonna drop that. I'm looking at the Ten of Wands in reverse. You know, there's the waiting energy because the money is being withheld. There's something about not being able to receive payment. Being very disappointed also there's an energy on the Ten of Wands where someone is shrugging it off. Like, it might be you, Pisces, that you're... I'm sorry, it really took a long time for me to come up with the word uh, shrugging off. I couldn't really tell what it was, but you're really like... You're wanting to at least shrug it off. I don't know if you're manage to, to really do that but you you surely are doing the best you can to shrug it off 
you're trying to make sure it doesn't impact you or the child. It's kind of a form of protection, defense mechanism here to avoid more disappointments, to avoid um, depending on the money um, and making the passage of time like feel more difficult as if meaning that if you had to you're waiting for the money right and the more you want the money the more you cling to wanting the money the more time like it takes forever like a time because you're becomes like your your enemy because you know you're expectant and expecting <laughs> versus shrugging it off where you're able to say okay well it'll come or it won't come i don't care i need to manage differently this is the way that you're choosing to handle this which is a very responsible and mature way very saturnian very realistic um it's your way to regain control over the situation but i can tell you that you're not the one i mean this person at least is trying to control you this person this family member or this family feud or this family situation is meant to control you. Or is just exerting um, limits on you or applying limits on you that basically kind of... They, it's a form of control, but through limits and the money it's so maybe even in terms of space because if you don't have any money you can't leave that space it's really strange it's a mix of all these things but this person is really like not cool I mean, I'm getting obviously like a Scrooge energy, but I'm also almost getting a thief energy. Because look at how he's on the depiction, right? The way he holds the money bag, it's kind of weird. Anyways, let's draw a trinket. Sorry for the noise. You get a book. <laughs> Sorry. You get the book. I mean, for me, um, it's the teacher energy. Who's this person? This is so weird. I mean, teacher could also be a parent. But I mean, you might have been homeschooled. Uh, there's something about what's written in the book that matters. Intuitively, I'm saying that. I don't know why. Anyway, this points to the teacher. So I'm not sure. And this is the person who's exerting control, by the way. So I'm going to put this uh, book on Saturn, which is also the positive teacher as well, right? So acquiring more knowledge is a very constructive thing. So I want you to know that there's some positive in this reading. But honestly, it's a difficult one in the sense that you're going through something, Pisces. And your reading for tonight, you're like, did Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and you. Uh, you you've had the more, I guess, complex um, and the more specific one also. The other rays were more symbolic. This one feels a lot more um, anchored in reality in terms of something really going on specifically for one, for a few of you. Um, it might resonate differently or more specifically, I, should, I guess. Anyways, I'm going to close the reading here. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> 
I don't know if I want to say I hope something resonated. It, if it did, fine. If you got something out of it, um, if, if, if you feel like you've learned something that was valuable, please like the video. You can share, of course, subscribe. And thank you for coming back on the next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.